So I just got out here, I don't know, maybe five minutes ago, and I think today I'm going to disassemble this cage thing that I made. I got my lock all hooked up. I got it to where it locates. I can't go up, down. That stops it. And I got my key slot in there. And I was going to go with this because it's got two flats. And it fits perfect in that little milled out, uh, I guess you call it a slot, that little profile double D shape I made. But I'm definitely not going to go with this. I ordered all my stuff, so my drawer sliders and bolts for the rear ladder and everything should be in tomorrow. So I'm just going to like disassemble this. And all it is is I made these hinges. And this one's going to stay because it's a bracket. This is my speakers and crap. I need to redo that 100% because my amp is under there for my speakers. It's just whack. I did that years ago. So I got to get this out. That's not going to be there. But I just got these spacers. Slide these off. I'm going to take these, this, and it's going to come. And it's all going to be good. So I'm going to take this part and get this spot cleaned up. Alrighty, so got that off. I got like a, just a little counterbore for that side. And I guess this locates. It's flush on the bottom, that locates. And we're good. Actually, that looks so much cleaner. I was thinking about how these drawers are going to work. These, the sliders that I ordered, I don't have them yet, so I'm just kind of brainstorming. And I think I'm going to get a piece of aluminum. A little bit taller than this probably twice as tall like two of these pieces and get that I might cut it here so it'll only be that I'm gonna put some through holes kind of like this but all the way through with a counter bore on the opposite side so the heads flush on the bottom I'm gonna tap it into this that way and that way I'm just gonna bolt up through the bottom two of them and it's going to be slotted so it's going to be adjustable this way and that's going to be here there's going to be another one here and I'm going to get a pan to go all and I'm going to have the slider on bolted on this side and then the, I'm going to make a pan 90 degree go down, bolt to the slider and it should move in and out and you're going to only see that pan the formed edge on that pan and all this is going to be hidden and there'll be a couple screws on the outside of the pan and that's all you'll be able to see is them I'll probably just use like a button head style screw that I have and that's the only thing you'll be able to see so hopefully it'll look good so I should have that stuff tomorrow and I can get the aluminum I can bolt you know tap everything drill it and form up some sheet metal hopefully stainless but i don't think i don't think there's stainless that's that thick like i don't think we have stainless that's that thick maybe possibly another bracket on the back side of this i mentioned that the other day similar to this but come up on the back side and then mount on the bottom similar to this just make a little pocket and a 90 and come over and spot head screws on the top and it'll be fine. It came in and I got it right here. And my van's a mess. But, <clears throat> yeah, this is it. The wall thickness is crazy. And I'm hoping that that's like meaning it has more insulation. But it came with the 12 volt and the 120. So, and it's looking like most of this stuff is stainless steel as far as these hinges and the screws and this. It's either chrome, like coated. That's stainless. That's like a chrome coating. 
Them screws are stainless. These screws are stainless. Them are all stainless. And this basket comes out. These, you know what? I'm gonna do a review on this. I'm gonna like, I already opened it, but I'm gonna kinda like put it back in the box and mimic a like unboxing of this, even though I'm kinda cheating, because there are almost no reviews on the MT27F angle fridge. And I really, I personally would have really liked there to be a review on there so I could see what I'm buying. There was one or two, but they just weren't very like detailed and so I'm gonna post that. Go home! So, I put these handles on while it was inside because it's just so hard to carry. There's like nothing to grab and pulling it out of the box is hard because there's like nothing here to, to grab onto. So you gotta watch out for that. But it looks like this is gonna fit. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be like perfect. And I didn't even know, like I didn't realize it was gonna be that perfect. But I'm gonna take these handles off because they're too big right now. And on that side. But I'm gonna take them off. I think it's gonna fit. This thing fits perfect. I got a little bit of room right here. I don't think I'm gonna run this. I think I'm gonna take that off. I just barely had this piece tacked on in the back. There's a little bit of room. This is pretty much like bottomed out as far as room. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space back there for the cords and stuff to ravel up. But I think the cords, the cords attach right there. So, but it all depends on, <clears throat> because the cord comes in and then it goes out, it's at a 90 degree angle and it just depends on which like orientation that is. If it's facing, if it's coming out and facing back, or if it's coming out, I should have paid attention to that. But regardless, this thing fits literally so perfect like it was made for it and there's enough room for these drawers because this is going to be um i don't know probably 30 30 millimeters taller probably 40 millimeters taller by the time i get everything together and uh so once the drawer and everything's on it's going to be oh man it's going to be so perfect i'm just going to pull out shut I'm gonna have like a basket up here to put all my food and dry foods and stuff that's gonna be so perfect so I'm gonna try to make that drawer cover the whole area the whole span the whole length of this thing that I got built and where my handles bolt it's just these inserted zinc plated steel like uh, thread inserts that just kind of yeah, they're on this side too. These are up higher. So these brackets, and I don't know if I'm gonna make something attached from here to here, just like a bar going across and then meet in the middle and just one piece going down to my like pan, that would probably look the cleanest, honestly. Just one piece spanning across and then one going down and just bolt together make that out of stainless steel as well so if I spill water on it or something it's not going to rust up and I don't have to worry about painting it um I'm hyped this is this thing is sweet got off Amazon because the price was a little bit cheaper I haven't plugged it in yet because I didn't want to plug it in real quick and then just bring it right out here and then if I'm going to run it I want to run it for like a long period of time so I think I'm just going to get my dimensions off this fridge and measure up the bottom figure out where I'm gonna mount these drawer sliders and I guess that's it my brother's trying to get my attention over here and now he's running everyone thinks it's so funny to make fun of someone uh, recording themselves but look he's still looking at me you just got to do what you got to do so I think I'm done with the fridge. I'm gonna measure up some stuff and call it a day.